Hey everyone, it's Carolyn and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you a PCOS friendly meal prep. I'm going to be including all gluten and dairy free dishes that are going to set you up for success this week. I'm going to get started making some hard boiled eggs in my instant pot. This is such an easy way to make hard boiled eggs. I do this all the time. If you've been following my channel, then you already know. Just pour in a cup of water into the bottom of your Instant Pot and place as many eggs as you'd like on your trivet. I'm gonna cook these on high pressure for five minutes. I'll do a quick release and then stick them in an ice bath to stop cooking. Make sure your sealing valve is closed and let's get them going. These are all done. I'm going to carefully place them in my ice bath and that's going to stop the cooking process so they don't get that green ring that sometimes happens with hard boiled eggs. These are so easy to peel when you do them in the instant pot and they make a great breakfast option. I am going to show you what I'm going to be pairing with them very, very soon. Okay. All done. Since I already have my Instant Pot out, I'm gonna use the saute feature to cook up these breakfast sausages. I got them at Aldi. Um, they are a chicken breakfast sausage. And even though they're fully cooked, I just think they taste better when they're browned. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that done. So get it on saute. And then when it's hot, I'll add them right in there. While I'm waiting for my Instant Pot to, while I'm waiting for the saute, be, be, while I'm waiting for the Instant Pot to warm up, I am going to get started on prepping some of my favorite mason jar salads. If you've been watching my meal preps before, you know that's my favorite way to prep salad so that it stays fresh for a long time. So I'm going to be making some Greek salads because I found these beauties at Trader Joe's. They're quinoa stuffed grape leaves. So that sort of inspired this. So Greek salad is a great um, healthy option, gluten and dairy free, as long as you omit the cheese and find a compliant dressing. Uh, a lot of Greek dressings have feta in them, um, but I found this one, sorry it's not focusing, from Thrive Market and it's a dairy free Greek dressing. So I'm gonna be layering these, um, some romaine, I have peppers, cucumbers, tomatoes, and Kalamata olives. So I'll get these going and my breakfast sausage is cooking. I'm a go -to fast. Suddenly I feel so rich. No, I don't know I can't let this slip. So I'm only 20 minutes in and look how much stuff I've already got done. I got my hard boiled eggs and my chicken sausage for breakfast. And I have three perfectly layered mason jar salads, all the crunchy stuff at the bottom so it won't get soggy. And then the delicate lettuce on top and the dressing's already in there too. So I just have to put on the lid, shake it, pour it in a bowl and super easy option for lunch. So I'm gonna do a couple more things. Before I'm done, I'm gonna be making a lentil chicken sort of stew to go along with my salads and some gluten and dairy free breakfast bagels. So I'm all set to make my chicken lentil stew. I have all of my ingredients and the great thing is that this is just a dump and go instant pot meal. So once I prep my produce, all I have to do is throw everything in the instant pot and set it and forget it. So let me prep all this up. It's getting close to lunchtime. Um, and I am planning on having this delicious meal for lunch. And really quick, just a note, 
Um, I did use chicken thighs and I would suggest not substituting it for chicken breasts. I just think the chicken thighs come out so amazing in the Instant Pot. Seriously, it's my favorite way to prepare them. So just take that into consideration. It'll still be delicious with chicken breasts, but I really like the texture of the chicken thighs. So let me just prep this all up real quick and I'll show you how it turns out when it's done. Everything is in there. Just a little note, make sure that your chicken bouillon is gluten-free because there are several brands that do contain gluten. Um, so that's just a little tip for you. I'm going to cover this and cook this on the soup mode for 30 minutes. And seriously, the smell in my kitchen is about to be amazing. This is so flavorful and healthy for you. While my soup is cooking, I'm going to do the last part of my meal prep and I am going to be um, preparing some of the Skinny Taste Easy Bake Balls. I've made these before, but this will be my first time making a gluten and dairy free version. So I'm doubling the recipe, but I'll leave the ingredients on the screen for just a single batch, which makes four muffins and you can feel free, I mean muffins, <laughs> bagels, and you can feel free to double that. Um, depending on how many you need, but I'm going to be freezing um, a few extras because these only last a few days since there's no preservatives. So I am using um, the Bob's Red Mill all-purpose gluten-free flour, and then I found this Greek yogurt. Now to make these bagels, um, the recipe recommends Greek yogurt. So I found this dairy-free version at Whole Foods. It's the only one that I could find. Um, so if you know of another sort of thick, dairy-free Greek-style yogurt, please let me know because, oops, I shouldn't add that yet. I need to add the salt first. Distracted by talking. Um, okay, so once you add your dry ingredients, give that a little press and then add in your yogurt. That would have been a disaster. Okay. So I'm excited to see how these turn out and how they compare to the traditional version because I've been making the traditional version for literally years. Cause I've been thinking about you. Once you've got your dough pretty well mixed, um, just dump it onto a surface. You should probably flour it a little bit because it tends to be a little bit sticky and just knead it together until it's not really crumbly anymore. So I'm dividing this into eight equal sections, and then I'll show you how I roll them out into bagels. So my Instant Pot is depressurizing. So while that is almost done, I'm just gonna get my bagels ready to go in the oven. So what I'm doing here is just putting a little egg wash on top 
so that I can sprinkle on some topping. I'm going to be using my favorite, the Trader Joe's Everything But the Bagel Seasoning. I'm just going to sprinkle that on top. But you can do, oh, there's my oven. It's preheated to 375. So I read in the notes of the recipe that sometimes the gluten-free bagels take a little bit longer. Usually these take 25 minutes to cook. So I'm going to check them at about 30 minutes, um, but the recipe author said that they sometimes take even up to 35 minutes. So I'll update you with how long they took once they're done. I'll get these in the oven and then all I need to do is shred the chicken in the Instant Pot. So this smells amazing. I cannot wait to have this for the next few days. The chicken is seriously just falling apart. It is so tender. Oh my gosh. I really hope that you'll give this recipe a try. It makes a ton. There's 11 cups of stew in here and it's the perfect blend of protein, vegetables, and healthy carbohydrates. So I'm all done meal prepping. It really didn't take me that long, probably because I used the Instant Pot. That always speeds everything up. But I'll start over here with my bagels since they're fresh out of the oven. These um, I put in for 30 minutes total and they seem like they're done for me. As you can see, they're kind of thin, so I didn't want to overcook them. Um, they are gluten, dairy-free, everything bagels. I'm so excited. I'm gonna be putting about three or four in the fridge and freezing the rest since they don't have preservatives in them. Back there, you can see there is a ton of my chicken and lentil soup. Um, I just portioned out two because I'm gonna be bringing those to work for lunch. And then here's the rest to enjoy while I'm at home and for my husband to enjoy. And I'll be serving that with these Greek mason jar salads. Again, they are just layered perfectly so nothing will get soggy, dressing at the bottom, crunchy vegetables, and then the delicate lettuce on top. These are gonna stay fresh for three to four days too. And then to go along with my bagels, I definitely needed some protein options to keep me full throughout the morning. So I have my chicken sausages all browned up and my hard boiled eggs perfectly cooked in the Instant Pot. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. This is my first PCOS friendly gluten and dairy free meal prep. So make sure that you subscribe and stay tuned for more videos because I'll be creating tons more just like this. I'll see you next Monday guys. Bye.